Hey everybody, welcome to game two with the blue red thermo vault deck. Uh, we'll just jump straight into it. Uh, I don't have enough lands for this hand, unfortunately, so we've got a mulligan. Uh, I think that's okay. The harness lightning there and the thermo alchemist will be alright. Uh, hopefully, we can get into another land. I'm going to keep that one on top just as a backup because the first one's likely to get destroyed or exiled or bounced or something. I'm just basing that off the blue white part of it. We might be versing a Jeskai deck. Might just be a blue white and blue white flash deck. Our spirits. That's an interesting one. Uh, so we'll just play out the alchemist. Okay. Okay. So this looks like we're up against a cheap spirits deck. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna cast something. Maybe at the end of their turn. So I'm thinking that I might harness lightning the bygone bishop at the end of their next turn. Uh, that way they sacrifice their selfless spirit. Uh, she might do it, I might do it in combat as well, actually. If they happen to spell queller it, which I'm expecting to be what will happen. Yep, that was expected there. So that is absolutely fine. So then we're just going to bring that down to zero. Ah, another one. Good. I'll ping them for one while that happens. Um, might have to do the same thing again, I suppose. Might cast Anticipate. I think we're good for a few more turns. Uh, there'll be a Rattle on it. It's the, I was thinking it was going to cast Rattle Change there, but uh, makes sense to crack the clue. Uh, again, we will go ahead and ping for the one. Like, fair enough. Well, doesn't deal the damage, so I can't complain too much. Don't exactly get the, uh, the energy for it, but that's okay. Okay. So now I'm thinking, I think just the other Thermo Alchemist would be fine. Two to four damage a turn is pretty solid. Yep, Spell Queller, nope. Okay, that's alright. They were just playing something in response, so I may as well ping for the sake of ping in there. Yep. So, I'm not liking my odds here, but I can do some things. So, just looking forward to the sideboarding here. We're going to definitely be bringing in the uh, Radiant Flames. It's an annoying card. Um, just because I can't straight up can't do anything out here, I may as well just not show them any more of my hand. So 
wasn't the best of draws. Needs a bit more burn. I think I'll bring in the Galbonic Bombardments as well. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The best there I can do is anticipate, and that's just not really worth it. So we'll just go straight into the sideboarding, I think. So definitely Radiant Flames. I think the Galvanic Bombardment's pretty, pretty good too. Um, uh, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. So, what to remove? I think the few of the tormenting voices fine to go. Perhaps a deadlock trap as well. So I think that I need to keep the Fevered Visions and Dynavolt Towers in because they're both not too bad against this kind of deck. Um, Trap, tormenting voice in a thermo alchemist. We'll see how we go here. This might just be another quick game, but uh, okay, I'm I'm, I'm alright with that one because it's got a bit of removal. Well, it's got a bit of removal. It's nothing but land and removal, so it's looks pretty good to me. They've kept it five cards, so that's all right. We'll just play the Highland Lake first, then we can play the Spy of Life Canal on the next turn. Okay. So far, not very exciting from either of us. If they play something, uh, if they don't leave up Spell Quella Mana or Glimmer of Genius this end of turn here, uh, otherwise I'll just let it go. It's alright. So I'm just gonna pause some fights that I'm watching. Uh, I think we're just gonna hand it off again. Play something. Okay, that's all right. He just played his planes. Yep. So I'm going to try and harness lightning. That if it gets spell quelled, that's absolutely fine because I can just glimmer of genius as well, or I could just. Um, Harness Lightning that. Um, that's fine. Yep. Do your thing. Harness Lightning that one. Uh, I think I can do the Harness Lightning in my turn. Uh, just because it's, this is a bit more mana efficient. Straight to that. Do the three. Cast that. Do the three. Uh, we can play the Highland Lake there and pass turn. I'm going to anticipate end of turn here. And I'm going to want that Dynavolt Tower, I think. So, I don't really want to cast into mana like that. It's very easy for them to 
just have anything in hand like spell queller or something of the sort. What's that? Four mana. Perhaps a glimmer of genius? Field. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. I think I can deal with that. I'm just gonna go back at bombardment if I need to. I think I'll glimmer here to try and bait out a spell of theirs. Uh, put the land in the bottom, definitely. Uh, I think I'm okay with Thermo Alchemist. Certainly, double Thermo Alchemist is good. Hoping they don't have a counter spell for that one now. There it is. <laughs> Ooh, Avison, interesting. Uh, I can kill that actually. So, do I want to? I actually think it benefits me a little bit to wait until. turn just because that way I get the triggers and such from Dynavolt Tower depending on what they play it may just be worth that'd be a little bit annoying <laughs> Okay, taking four there. I'll be a little surprised if he doesn't just plus on one of them. Yep, that's fine. I think I might try and make them use the mana now if they're going to use it. That's okay. Don't step and remove that. Hmm. Nifty little card. You can. Uh, yes. Get rid of Devon Barn. I think it's quite reasonable to assume that I can cast this now while they've got no mana, or they've only got while they've got minimal mana open. Gets me enough to get into the Dynavolt range, Dynavolt Tower range as well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with both of those cards, and then I can. Did I just put them both on the bottom? I did just put them both on the bottom. That was not intentional. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. What I got was actually still pretty good, so I'm not too unhappy there. And I think I may have also just... Oh no, did that okay. Thought I just missed a trigger for uh, the Thermo Alchemist, but I think I did that alright. So... In comes old Avacyn. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. I think again that's okay. So this turn I can deal 7 damage I think. So certainly a reasonable amount. 
So ping, ping, anticipate. Hopefully you can just go into a... Hmm. So I can deal 4 damage with, with Galvanic Bombardment. Well, 3 damage. 3 damage. With the Galvanic Bombardment, so I could get rid of the other card he's got there. Just making it a little bit... That, uh... Um... I think I will do that because it, no, it doesn't really give me an extra turn, but it just means that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die to something, and I can cast it again right now, so I can deal another two damage. So that's fine. Any order, we can go ping, ping, galvanic bombardment. We can get a lot more. Ooh, that's going to be a problem for me. Forgot about that part of it. <laughs> the next upkeep. Forgot about that part. Okay, that'll be fun, I think. I best draw something real soon. <laughs> what does it do? It deals three damage to each creature. So, I'm just going to ping straight away. Really hoping for something for like anticipate, something along those lines. That is not anticipate. So we could be dead right now, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's all right. count. What the hell happened just then? <laughs> An 8 life. Could have sworn I was on more than 7 life. When did that happen? Oh, the trigger deals it to players as well. Ah, well, well. Things I'm not paying attention to. So that galvanic bombardment probably wasn't the best idea, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> that's game two, uh, we'll head into game three, hopefully we won't make so many bad decisions, see you there.